Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you guys a great way to EDC over-the-counter medication. Now, the two types of things I really hate dealing with when I get sick are sore throats and headaches. The thing with sore throats is, at least in my case, when they hit they come on very, very slowly. So if I'm at work and I feel a bit of scratchiness in the back of my throat and I know that I'm just starting to get a sore throat, even if I have a few hours left at work, I know I'm good until my shift is over. I can head home, take some sore throat medication, maybe stop off at a pharmacy, pick up some sore throat medication. Headaches are a different story. Usually when a headache hits, it hits right away. And I'm sure you guys can relate. Now, I like to take Tylenol, extra strength medication. That's just a personal preference. The thing is, you can't exactly take a bottle of extra strength Tylenol, even the smallest bottle, and toss it into a pants pocket. Well, you could, but you're going to be uncomfortable. So when it comes to EDC over-the-counter meds, what I like to do is either head to the pharmacy's travel aisle or travel section, or head to 7-Eleven and pick up one of these. This is a very small container and inside there's usually two or three packets. This particular one I got at 7-Eleven so it's two packets or two pouches. Let's open her up. Okay, that wasn't quite as easy as I thought it would be. Lovely. It's never easy when you're recording. So inside, two packets or two pouches. Now the thing about these is, as you can see, they're basically square in profile. And unfortunately, if you're like me and you have to wear formal dress pants to work, yeah, these corners, these are surprisingly sharp, all four of them. You carry one of these in your pocket like this, it's going to very slowly start cutting into the pocket liner. It might not seem like it, but it will. Trust me on that, it will. So, what to do? Well, let's just put this one aside for now. What you could do is toss this into your pocket and hope for the best. But what I like to do is I like to take a good sharp pair of scissors like on this Swiss Army Victorinox Classic. These are excellent tiny scissors by the way. And what I like to do is snip off each corner. Now, these little packets are actually all along the edge. They are press heat sealed. Now, the thing about a good press heat seal is that you can cut into it without actually cutting into the packaging itself. Meaning, if you cut all along that nice little, let's see if you can see that, that nice little dimpled press seal, you cut all along there, 
and you're not going to actually be cutting into the package, which means that entire dimpled section is press sealed. And if you remove a small amount of it, it will remain sealed up. So obviously don't cut here, but you can cut along the outside. Now you can just take a knife and snip at a 45 degree angle, but that still leaves it kind of sharp. So what I like to do is I like to cut this way and there you go. Round it off. And the best part is this is still sealed. Still completely sealed because I only cut off a very small section of the heat press seal and it's still sealed here. So as you can see, this is still closed, but it's nice and rounded, very comfortable, and you just do the same thing to the other three corners. And what you end up with is something that looks like this. Very contoured, very comfortable. Toss it into a pocket, carry it all day. And if you're stuck at a job wearing formal dress pants, you're going to be good because this beautifully rounded packaging has no sharp points that will cut into the lining of your pocket. And again, still perfectly sealed. So I just wanted to show you guys a great way to carry around something like a packet or pouch of Bayer Tylenol, Aleve. I think they also make Excedrin or any other type of over-the-counter medication that comes in these types of square packets. So now you can carry something like this. You can carry it very comfortably, no issues, no problems, and best of all, no headaches. Yes, that pun was absolutely intended. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.